this is how to identify a valid order block to enable you win most of your trades. Now, the first thing we want to do is observe the market structure from the weekly time frame. If you are just joining us, you're welcome. So let's go back to the weekly time frame. Go back to the weekly time frame. This is GMT USDT. And you can see right here, you can see right here that uh, we're actually in a downtrend before. Just look at the order flow. Let me show you what the order flow looks like before I show you how to identify or what makes an order block valid. Now, price is going down, right? Price is going down. Now, from this point, we started what? Breaking structure. Let me just identify that very quickly from the weekly. So please pay attention to these scenarios. Now, you can see we have a break of structure here to the downside. We're going to call this a liquidity sweep because this break of structure led to a change of character right here. So it led to a change of character. So it only indicates one thing, that price is now willing to go to the upside. And thereafter, the change of character, just after the change of character, we now had another break of structure indicating that price is absolutely ready to go up. So we're gonna be we're gonna be looking for buy opportunities only. My name is MJ Crypto, and this is what I do. So let's go back to the four hour time frame. I like the four hour time frame because it's in between. All right, it's in between. So what is the four hour time frame telling us? What is it telling us? Okay. Can you see that the market is a fractal? It's fractal in nature. It's fractal in nature, meaning that what we see on the higher time frame is exactly the same thing we we'll see on the four hour time frame. We we'll see the same picture again on the 15 minutes time frame. So it's a fractal. And when it's a fractal, it means that it is valid, right? So now we had this now. What are actually the criteria for us to determine if an order block is going to be valid? First of all, number one, an order block must cause a change of character or a break of structure. Let me just quickly write that. Um, well, must cause a BOS or chalk. Number two, it must sweep liquidity. Number three, which is very important, it must have it must have an inefficiency. Number four, there must be some signs of strength, meaning there must be momentum. There must be momentum in the market. Okay? There must be momentum right there. So, guys, uh, so these are actually, let me just put this here so that you don't get to mix things up. So these are actually the key principles of what a valid order block is. So we're gonna analyze this project, GMT step in, and we'll figure out where exactly this order block is residing. Where exactly is this thing residing? Is it hiding somewhere? Or is it invalid? So I have a break of structure. Everything is playing out well, playing out nice from the four hours, four hour time frame. Now let's come back to this place now. 
if you check very clearly, right, there was an other block here. I want you to look very closely. An other block somewhere around here. Other block somewhere around here. Now, where we are going to be drawing this other block from is going to be the point, or rather, the series of candles that sweeps liquidity. Look at liquidity being swept. So we're going to be taking the series of these candles that sweeps liquidity. Liquidity here, I'm talking about stop losses of retail traders. Remember, it is the retail trader stop losses that propels the market. Without this liquidity, the market may not move. So at every point of at every point in time, liquidity has to be swept to keep a balance of a trend. Okay, to keep a balance of a trend. Now you can see how this was swept easily. It was taken out completely, right? So obviously, it is this move that caused this break of structure. Can you see it? It is this move, this liquidity sweep here, that caused this break of structure. Are you seeing it now? Good. And then guess what? Price came back again, tapped into it, and went back up again. You can see how price came back to tap into this other block. Now, Oh, I forgot to add the last one. I forgot to add the last one. Valid order block must have, ah, okay. I forgot to add the last one. It must have valid order block. There must, there must be an inducement. Must be an inducement. Now, What's an inducement, first of all? An inducement is just, uh, uh, it's more like a chart setup on your chart. It's a setup on your chart that induces you into going into a trade too early. All right? It triggers your emotions to go into a trade too early. Now, imagine people who are actually, um, let's say, people who, who saw this as a break of structure, or rather, let's come back here. Yeah, a good inducement is here. This now is an inducement. You can see price has tapped into this other block. This here is going to be an inducement. Can you see this? It's going to be an inducement. Price did not, price did not tap into this other block. Can you see it? It did not tap into it at all. Price did not. Just came here and went up. Now, all those early buyers, those early traders who are very impatient, because they've seen this green candle, they will feel here is a pullback. But in the real sense, this is not a pullback. Okay, so a lot of traders would have traded here as a pullback because they saw this candle with a long wick and a green candle. They will be excited that oh, price wants to start moving towards the upside. And in my next video, I'm going to do it, um, a comprehensive lowdown about pullbacks and how you can actually trade them. So this is an inducement. An inducement. It's an inducement because it is inducing you to go into this trade before time. So be very successful as a trader. The first thing you want to do is master your emotions. It's the emotions that gives you money, not your skill. It's your emotions. If you can be able to master your emotions, stay out of early trades or stay out of FOMO, then that's a good sign. You can see price reaction here. Boom. A lot of people would think price wants to go up, but guess what? They'll put their stop losses here. All right? They're going to put their stop losses here. Yeah, stop losses somewhere around there. And then price will take them out. Take them out easily. Now, the other block here, let's see this very clearly. Where is this other block located? 
can see price swept liquidity here. All right, there was liquidity being swept there. Can even make this a channel. There was liquidity being swept here and it caused a rapid move towards the upside. We broke structure again. Broke structure again. Now, because we have broken structure again, guess what? This is another BOS. It's another BOS. Ah, it's another BOS. Broken structure again. Now, price is about to come back to retest the other block. Now, you'll see the same, what I just explained now, this sweep of liquidity, break of structure, you'll see it happen a thousand times. Now, you're going to see it happen here again. Price came here, swept this liquidity again, and broke structure. And obviously it does leave an imbalance in the market. It will always leave an imbalance. You can see we have an imbalance here. We have an imbalance somewhere around here. Okay, price will always leave an imbalance that is not filled. But let's, let's not talk about that now, so I don't confuse you. Because I know a lot, a lot of newbies will be watching this video. So, we swept liquidity with broken structure, Price will come back. The last bearish candle now that has taken off that liquidity, it's going to be this guy here. Now price has been tested here. Now, do you know what price is going to do? This is four hours. Let me call this a break of structure. That's, that's what it is exactly. Now, do you know what price is going to do? Price is going to come back. It's going to go up to take this guy here. Let me show you. It's going to go up to take this point here because here will now become a weak high. Is it called a weak high because this low was not taken out. If this low was not taken out, then obviously here is a strong low. And here is what a weak high. Now, this is the dynamics. Let's go to the 15 minutes now. I want to show you something very important. Let's go to the 15 minutes. Let's go to 15 minutes. Let's go to 15 minutes. All right, let's go to 15 minutes. So this is our 15 minutes time frame. Can you see that liquidity has been swept? This is where we take our entries from. Equity has been swept, but we haven't gotten liquidity swept already, but we have not gotten a change of character from the 15 minutes time frame. And this is called an extra confirmation. A lot of these persons will just wait for price to get to the other block and then they take their trades. I don't trade that way. If you know me very well, you know I'm very meticulous when I'm trading. I can just have one trade in a week, but I ensure I hit all my profits. All right, so this is now going to be an awaiting chop. If price does not break this structure to the upside, I'm not going into this trade. It's a live trade, actually. It's a live. You can see candles are moving. So I'm going to wait patiently for this high to be taken. This will now later confirm that internally we have changed structure and we are about to move to the upside to take out this weak high. All right. So until here is taken out completely, I'm not satisfied with this setup. So I want here to be taken out to further confirm that yes, buyers are in control and they are willing to change the character or change the narrative from a bearish sentiment into a bullish sentiment. So basically that is what 
and awaiting chalk means. So I'm just gonna place, I'm gonna place an alarm here. I'm gonna place an alarm. I'm gonna place an alarm here. And if this crosses in 15 minutes, if it crosses once per bar close, please trading view notify me. Awaiting chalk GMT. GMT awaiting chalk. GMT awaiting chalk. So I'll put this on alarm and with price triggers. Price triggers. It's going to be it's going to be a win-win situation for me. But I'm very, very sure that in no distant time, this will be taken out completely because you can see very well that liquidity is stacking here because a lot of traders will see this as a double top and they will want to short the market. And obviously, they will put their stop losses somewhere around here. Put their stop losses there, which would create liquidity again. Do you see how interesting this is? Do you see how fascinating this is? Now, all of these things that you are seeing here is what should be trading. All right, now, so we already know all our valid points and criteria of what creates a valid order block. Let me just take this out. So we're awaiting this chalk. We're waiting for, we're waiting here now. One here to be broken down or taken out. Now, let's go to five minutes again. This is not necessary though, but I just want to show you guys something, right? Go to five minutes. Five minutes time frame, still patiently waiting. Patiently waiting, you can see, you can see now that this will be broken. You can see we have a sweep of liquidity, a break of structure. Have our inducement is here, then price taps into this other block. Then price taps into this other block, but I'm not gonna rely on five minutes, okay? It's too low, it's too shallow. It's actually, uh, it's not going to hold as much strength as the 15 minutes. So that is why I really don't like using five minutes time frame. All right. So this is just an internal structure. It's an internal structure of what, what is going on. So back to the 15 minutes. Back to 15 minutes, we want to see this taking out completely. And if it does not take it out, if here is not broken, that means this trade is not going to work out. You skip it. Now, one of the best strategies that you can employ in your portfolio is knowing when to avoid the market. Now, if the win rate is calculated by how many wins, how many trades you take, um, as if how many, how many wins you you make as a function of how many trades you take. So let's say you take two hundred trades in a year, and you win hundred. That's a fifty percent win rate, right? Now, the remaining fifty percent that you lost, which is the remaining hundred trades that you lost, you would have been able to avoid over seventy percent if you actually waited for confirmations. I don't know if I'm communicating, but basically that is what I'm trying to tell you. That you would have been able to what? Avoid those losses if you had actually just be patient a little bit. So basically, let's wait for this awaiting chalk to be taken out. Then we test our key order block from the four hours and the weekly. And then we're good to go. We're now having 
a perfect setup, which is 95 or 98% accurate. This is how it's been done. My name is MJ Crypto. For those of you who want to go into my mentorship program, the link is going to be directly in the description of this video. Send the DM. Signals are available. Signals that will blow your mind the way are actually available on a daily basis. And of course, I'm always going to be dropping nice, amazing content like this for you every single time. So do well to subscribe to the channel and let's make money together. Cheers, guys. I love you all so much. One love.